hey, today I've decided enough is enough, and I have seen one too many Mr. Beast clones and insane 100 days in Minecraft videos, so let's just play Minecraft today. That's it, just vanilla, survival Minecraft, no crazy mods, no surprises, no speedrunning, just good old play Minecraft. And if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated. So let's get into it. So after clearing out enough of my storage to be able to film this video, I finally loaded up Minecraft and started a brand new world, naming it and loading it up. Then I started with the basics, punching a tree, gathering some tools and exploring for a new place to live. Once I started exploring though, I immediately got distracted by pretty flowers. Either way, I continued on my travels and killed some chickens to eat, then dove into a cave to collect some cobblestone and make some upgraded tools. After that, I collected a little bit more wood and I used it to create some charcoal, which I then cooked my chicken with. I spotted some sugarcane in the distance and snatched that up before scurrying back and collecting my meal to take a nibble out of. Then I used my new wood planks and I turned that into a boat. Dove into the ocean, not without hurting myself though, and set sail across the seas to find land. I did eventually find this lovely mountain biome, which I stopped at for some coal, and my, my god, let me tell you, there was a lot of coal. I think I probably spent about 30, 40 minutes just gathering all the coal. But I finally was done, and I hopped back in my boat and rode away. I took some screenshots of the coordinates because I thought that it was a nice area and I might want to live there, but then I immediately spotted a place that was arguably better, so I rode towards it, but not before getting distracted by a ruined nether portal, and to my dismay there was literally nothing. Literally nothing. But I continued on my way and swam up this lovely handy dandy stream and dove into yet another cave to hide from the night. This time with all my coal though, I crafted a bunch of torches and adventured deep inside and attacked some zombies of course. I found some lovely precious iron and I cooked that up to make some armor with. Then I encountered my first skeleton and thank goodness I made a shield. After I killed them all off, I made a break for the surface as the sun was finally coming up. I found another zombie and pillared my way out of the water, narrowly escaping before it could kill me. Then I got some more wood and went exploring. I found some cocoa beans and this lovely biome. I nearly died several times to fall damage and my own stupidity before diving into the ocean and realizing I was desperate for a snack. I killed off the local wildlife and cooked it up. Then I found out that you cannot eat tropical fish. They don't do anything. Besides that, I used my new iron that I found, turned it into a bucket, grabbed some water, and went on my way. After this, I climbed up a tree and nearly died several times before I finally made my way up and I decided to hide out there because in the time it took me to get there, it was basically already becoming night again. But before I could rest easy, I had to pillar across this alarmingly large gap to my death and grabbed some iron. I huddled back over and started getting shot at, so I burrowed into the tree, made a chest to dump my random stuff in, and made a very ugly shack to sleep in. Then I waited the night away before accidentally falling off the edge of my building and doing an insane water bucket clutch, then embarrassingly slowly climbing the wall back to where I was before I started climbing the tree. I started exploring and took one look at my ugly building and ran in the opposite direction, hoping to never have to see it again. I hopped to the tippity top of the tallest tree in the tallest mountain and to look where I was going and what biomes were ahead. Then I very carefully scaled my way down, trying not to take too much damage, found some pumpkins and took more damage, grabbing some more things on the way that I didn't need before brutally murdering some sheep and making myself a bed. I cooked their meat up to eat and continued happily on my travels, hopping through biome after biome, killing sheep after sheep, deciding against going in that dangerously large hole and killing some more animals. It appears, however, Karma did not like this as I then spent a very long time failing this crit jump, so naturally I had to slaughter all the witnesses nearby before continuing on my way merrily. I scaled yet another mountain to look at all the nearby biomes before designing in a direction to go and taking lots of damage, then spending a very long time jumping trees and hurting myself. I took it out on the snow though and collected it, even though I didn't need any of snow for any reason at all. 
When I finally regained my focus, I waddled my little butt over to the edge of the mountain to see where I was going. I scaled yet another tree, there seems to be a theme here, and decided exactly where I wanted to go. So I made my speedy descent before immediately getting distracted. Shh, don't tell anybody. May I preface here that I get distracted a lot as I have ADHD, but that is aside the point and you don't need to know that, so let's move on. I finally started my way towards where I was headed, and I made my way to this lovely plains biome, which I know that's basic and boring, but I have some plans. I have some building plans. You see, I need lots of space. So I moved along and continued traveling, trying to find the perfect place to set up a spot before climbing down a mountain, or, well, water sliding down a mountain, and diving into the water to go for a swim. I was then savagely attacked by a drowned, so I skedaddled out of the water and pillared my way up, then munched on the meat of my enemies. As I travelled, I decided it would be a genius inventory idea to collect all the different types of wood and every single sapling. My inventory was very full. Then I spent like 20 full seconds trying to get into bed before finally falling asleep and wishing you all a good night. When I arose again the next day, I finally decided to set up a nice starter base that wasn't as hideous as my original one, so I dug out a hole. Yeah, a, a hole. Uh, listen, I'm, I promise it'll get better. I had to craft many new tools because I kept breaking them as I'm still on the Stone Age. I haven't made it to iron, even though I, for some reason, have not done that, even though I have iron. Anyway, I decided to go for a nice organic build and I tried my best to replicate a cute hobbit hole. It was not without its complications, though. I dug up many a tree and destroyed many a ecosystems for this very tiny, slightly odd odd looking house but you know it was worth it then I sheared up some leaves and realized as I step back now that this is completely uneven but I fix it later don't worry I took a very long time trying to make this front piece look correct and I don't know if I achieved it but you know then I moved on to the top section and then I realized that I wanted some birch wood instead so I replaced the backing before stepping back and finally fixing the fact that it was an uneven piece then I decided I wanted more birch, and I started placing it in the floor of my new home. Soon the sun set, and I went to bed for the second time, made a chest because my inventory was ridiculously full. Thank you very much for collecting a useless amount of things I didn't need past Eva. I then, as I dug up more of my house, I realized I built it literally inside of a cave, but it's fine, I moved on. I added some pillars, took an extremely long time to make these walls. Then I decorated the inside rather shoddily, but you know, it's a starter base. I picked up all of my items very slowly because, you know, um, I had deposited them into a chest before immediately deciding I didn't like the way I had decorated the house. I then sacrificed my acacia wood because who needs that much acacia wood? And then I made a lovely little rug, realized I didn't have a second color, so I changed it, added the light source in the middle, and then I added much more rug before deciding that my house was done. And that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry it was a little short and we didn't get much done, but you know, today was the first episode, so I kind of just explored and got set up. But I hope to see you next week for episode two. Bye!